33 minutes, roughly the length of this newscast. Think about doing anything for a half an hour, driving, reading, running. It's a relatively long time depending on your activity. It was nearly an eternity for one Powhatan man. All about you. On most Sunday mornings, before many of us have even lurched out of bed, one minute, one minute, finish it up strong. Stan Edwards is already in full workout mode. The Powhatan financial analyst can be found at his local high school, putting first responders through workouts designed to extend their careers and their lives. Water anything, you good? By most accounts, Stan Edwards was a fanatic about fitness. Myself, normal. Other people, probably over the top. He was athletic from a very young age, played football and golf in high school, and went on to play golf collegiately at Longwood. Stan ran his first marathon in 1991 and has done 26 so far. He is scheduled to compete in his sixth Ironman triathlon in September and has been a vegetarian for a quarter century. I thought he would be pushing me in the wheelchair. He's just super, super <laughs> um, healthy and um, very fitness minded. Honestly, I was that naive guy that I worked out every day, I was a vegetarian, I was doing the right things, there was nothing I had to worry about. Or so he thought. In August of 2020, Edwards went out for a bike ride while his wife ran an errand out of town. He had to be told what happened next. Across the intersection up here, I came across the street, laid my bike down gingerly, they said, so obviously it looked like I wouldn't hurt it, and I literally dropped in on the side of the road right up here on the asphalt. Stan's left anterior descending artery, also known as the Widowmaker, was 99% blocked. He was, for all intents and purposes, dead on the side of the road. There's no light I saw, there's nothing, everything was just black. Uh, honestly, I have no memory up from the week before, I barely have a few memories of us moving into this home. Four bystanders started CPR for 11 minutes. You were 100% on okay, the pavement, so which is why I'm glad I never took your helmet off. One was Annie Edwards, who was having a graduation party for her daughter. Somebody called and said, we can't get into your neighborhood. There's somebody laying there. Edwards just happened to be a critical care nurse and quickly supervised Stan's resuscitation until EMTs arrived. They worked on him for another 22 minutes, shocking his heart three times. In those 33 minutes, no one gave up. People cared beyond belief to be able to stop and do that for everything there, and it takes a village. Even though Edwards had no response to their efforts. I had a feeling. I had a very strong feeling that he was going to make it. He's a healthy guy. He's just had a heart attack. We can fix this. Edwards was eventually taken to St. Mary's Hospital, where he would lay in a coma for 19 days, enduring three blood transfusions and battling two bouts of pneumonia. In total, he spent 33 days in the hospital and seven more in rehab before he was able to return home. His fitness level prior to the heart attack likely saved his life. I think that it tremendously impacted um, his mindset, his ability to believe that his body could heal, his, um, his understanding of his own body, and the potential that he had. I've learned that there's two parts of fitness. There's the proactive, and you better be able to react. I don't wish this on anyone else, but I do want people to know to take that in consideration. It's not a competition with anybody else. The reality of what he had endured finally hit home during his rehab stay where he had to learn to walk and even touch his nose all over again. Looking out the window, knowing that there's a walker sitting right there and I've got to call somebody to go to the bathroom, reality hit in there and I cried like a baby going, wow, what just happened? Now, having returned from all that, Edwards is using his story to wake others up to the same reality. He has started a website and a fitness camp for firefighters, half of whom will succumb to their own bouts of cardiac arrest. Edwards believes this is why he is still here today. I can't die on the side of the road for 33 minutes, put my family and friends, everything I put them through, and not try to give back and show appreciation in some way. So that's what it's about. We give all the glory to God because he put every individual in place from the, the moment it started, uh, from the journey through the hospital, and even after we got home. I don't know if lucky is the word, blessed, very blessed. Favored, looked after, and, and cared for, for sure. But to come home and, and to learn and to see the pictures and everything that they went through to have to deal with this, I can't, I, I can't, I can't fail at this. Good job, sir. 
You rock. Sir. Good job. You rock. According to the American Heart Association, the survival rate for those suffering widowmaker heart attacks is just 12% when it happens outside a hospital or care center. Edwards' website is ironwill.live, where he is more of his story and offers help and support to others going through similar situations. Annie Edwards, who is no relation, and the other first responders were honored by Powhatan County in November of 2020 for their work, which she described as exceptionally humbling.